Okay, hello everyone. Today we're going to be continuing on from um, the previous two tutorials um, with our physics world, and this time I'm going to be showing you how to create um, player, mo player movement, so platformer movement, um, still within the physics world. So that'll all enable you to have the player push boxes and react with all the other objects without requiring any actual extra code. So it's all going to simplify things for you. Okay, so we just open up our room. Um, I've gone ahead and cleared everything out of the room, so it's just empty with the walls and floor now. Um, if you don't already have any walls, I'd advise adding those. Just use the same object that we use for the floor, but you know, make a wall. Okay, now to create the player, first thing we're going to do is start with the sprite. Let's minimize that. Okay, start with the sprite and just call it SPR player. And this is just going to be another circle, so just 32 by 32, and just create a circle. Um, we're going to color this circle something, so um, blue should do, I think. Uh, yep, that's blue, so that works fine. And make sure that's centered. Um, just quickly, another thing you've got to do is go back and edit it and just get a black line, doesn't really matter what colour as long as it's not the same colour as the sprite itself but um, just draw a line across it that line will allow us to see if it's actually rotating or not okay now create your object call that object player well not object but obj player that's just how I do it, it um, keeps things organised and give it sprite now, don't forget to parent this with the dynamic parent, otherwise you won't have any collisions, and tick the box that says uses physics. Okay, now in this, um, in this object, we've got to change, um, you've got to make sure the collision shape's, um, a circle, and then you've got to change down here in the physics properties, um, the friction. So just here, it's 0 0.2 at the moment. We're going to set that up really high, we're going to set up to 50. Um, friction is the friction between this object and other physics objects, so that way when we hit the ground and we want to move, it, we won't just slide out instead of moving, we'll actually grip the ground. Okay, now add your create event, just like that, and we're going to go and put in some code. Okay, so this is going to be variable variables in this. Okay, so we'll start off with the speed. Um, yeah, we'll start off with speed, so just call it SPD equals 500. Then we want um, the jump power, so we go JMP equals 500 again. That shouldn't be too much. Um, the values in physics is normally pretty high, because you've got it, like, it goes off, like, mass and that kind of stuff. It doesn't just go off a variable. Like just it doesn't go off of normal variables, so like everything tends to be a lot higher. So if speed's 500. We won't really be moving that fast. Jumping 500, we're not going to really jump all that high. Okay, so now we've got those set. Um, I like to set my keyboard up through variables. So I go right equals vk right left equals vk left and jump equals vk space um you can also set it to like right equals d or a but um to write that if you don't already know how instead of vk right it would be o a r d so o r d um and then d so that would set the keyboard event to D instead of VK right, as long as that bit of code there wasn't there, so just completely replace that. Um, I don't really know what OID stands for, I just know that it works, and um, make sure that it's a capital D and not a lowercase D in between the quotation marks, otherwise it won't work. Okay, now that's all set, we can get into the actual programming. So, create a step event, put in the code, and we'll go if keyboard check 
and then the no, sorry. Right. And physics apply torque. Um torque is spinning, so that's how we're gonna be moving. We're just gonna spin the ball and then it'll grip to the ground and move. Okay, so physics apply torque and just speed. Okay. Copy that and paste it below. And then just replace the values in that. Um, with right, we want to move right, so the speed has got to be um, a positive number so that it spins right. However, a negative number spins left, so we set that to minus speed. Okay, now we've got to set the jumping, so if keyboard check. Uh, jump it was, I think. Um, in this, I'll just show you something. Alright, if keyboard check physics apply force. So this is gonna send us up when we hit space. Alright, we want X, Y, zero and minus jump. So that's going to send us up instead of down. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it like that for now. And then I'll show you something soon. So we'll just leave it like that. Tick that off. And add it to the room. Alright. Then we're going to run it. So hit that. Okay. So we've got right movement, left movement, and jumping. I notice how that goes up really high and I can actually make it like kinda hover. So let's wait for it to come back down. Yeah. Um we don't want to be able to hover in the air. So if I just hold down space it's gonna send me up flying into the air. Even though like I'm not on the ground. So what we're gonna do is make it so you can only jump when you're touching the ground. Now in a normal platformer you'd use something like if place meeting. That doesn't work properly in this because it works off bodies and, like, I'm um, sorry, fixtures, not bodies. And the sprites don't, like, don't always collide, so it's generally pretty faulty. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to check if keyboard check jump and physics. Um, totally forgotten what the thing was. Um, physics test overlap. Uh, so what this will do is generally the same thing as the if place meeting except we're going to check if two spots overlapping so what we're going to gonna do is go x y plus one or two I'm going to set it to do. Um, angle is zero and then just object wall which is our wall object. Alright, so that way, if the keyboard is pressed, so it's pressed, and um, physics test overlap is true, then it will it will only like jump when you're on the ground, so that way you're not going to be able to continuously just fly up into the air. So we'll tick that off. Um, OK. And then we can run the game. So we'll make sure that, that works. So hit play. Press that, and there we go. So in the moment I'm actually holding space, I'm not just tapping it as soon as it hits the ground, I'm holding it down. So it moves up, hits the ground, then goes up again as long as I'm holding it. I'll let go, stop jumping, symbols that, and then it can still move after a map. Okay, so that's basically the movement. I'll just throw in some other objects, show you how they get, like, see how they react with it. Triangles and some circles. Now chances are they're going to get thrown around a bit when I spin, or I will, either way. Yeah, as you can see there, it, it all reacts with them, and yeah, works perfectly really. Um, if you've got 
some of the other objects getting thrown around when you spin you might have to change the density of them which is basically the weight but apart from that that's how to do it so yeah um thanks for watching and subscribe if you want more videos All right